Hello everyone, Katarina here. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I have for you a very simple and quick card. The main component or technique on this card is Distress Ink stamping and reactivating it with water. I made this card a few years ago for a friend and I finally managed to recreate it to share with you because this is a pretty fun and easy technique. Let's start with the supplies. I'm using here a very old stamp set by Clearly Besotted called Mr. and Mrs. This was one of those purchases when I really liked the look of the stamp set, but I had no idea what to do with it. Until I made that card for my friend. She needed a card for a wedding and this was the only stamp set I had that was specific for weddings and anniversary. But you can use any stamp set that has solid images like leaves, flowers and so on. Actually, as an example, I created another card with a different stamp set that I will show you at the end. Since this card includes Distress Ink stamping, I picked up four Distress Ink colors. I also have here the VersaFine ink in Onyx Black, which is a waterproof ink, very important for this project. For the cardstock, I'm using the Canson XL 300 GSM watercolor cardstock. And I also will be using a spray bottle with clear water. I'm only using the corner stamp from the stamp set. I started by stamping with the black ink and I'm using the stamping platform from Tim Holtz. I needed to use a stamping tool because I needed to restamp since I'm using a cold press watercolor cardstock that is not smooth. But after third try and not getting even coverage of the ink, I took my black fine liner and filled up the gaps. It's not really visible in the video, but there are some gaps and with the fine liner, I was able to easily cover it up. I'm not really fan of this stamping tool. I bought it because it was cheaper than the regular Misty. I just needed a stamping tool to use with background stamps and for stamping like this, where I needed to stamp a little bit off the paper, which I could not do with the smaller Misty. Once I was done with the black ink, I waited a bit for it to dry. Actually, be very careful with the black ink and make sure your fingers are clean when touching the cardstock. I ruined my trial card by having black smudges on the card. Next, I started stamping with the Distress Inks. I used the colors Picked Raspberry, Wilted Violet, Peacock Feathers and Lucky Clover. I wanted the colored image to be more visible, so I placed it a little bit in front of the black image, but I also wanted it to be in between. So I repositioned the stamp for each color twice. I also restamped when needed, but I didn't have any exact way of stamping. I just stamped based on the look. Next, I stamped the sentiment. I'm using the mini misty here. I wanted to use the Tim Holtz platform, but I could not get the stamp straight. I was trying to use the grit on the lid, but I could not see through it very well and I just could not get it aligned. And using a small stamping platform for a sentiment is much easier. For the sentiment, I used the happy anniversary stamp from the same stamp set. And now let's do the fun part of this project. The reason why I chose Distress Inks and not any other ink is because the Distress Inks react with water. And I'm going to use a spray bottle and spray the panel, just the parts with the stamped images. Once the water touched the images that I stamped with the Distress Inks, the stamped image stayed visible, 
but the colors mixed with the water and spread out, creating this organic, very soft and slightly messy watercolor effect. I needed to spray one area once, but I had to spray a few times to cover all the stamped images, so I got more water to some parts than others. I let the water do its thing. If you think you have too much water on your cardstock, just use a paper towel to soak it up. My cardstock did warp a lot, but once it was dry, it flattened out. If you want, you can also secure the cardstock onto a board using a washi tape or painter's tape to avoid the warping. Once the piece was dry, I adhered it onto a white card base using a double-sided tape. And lastly, I adhered few clear sequins on top of the panel to add a little bit of sparkle to the card. The sequins is from Neat and Tangled, and the glue I'm using here is the Multimedium Matte Adhesive from Ranger. I adhered the sequins randomly, I did not have any specific pattern. This finishes the card. I really like the look after the water mixed with the distress inks. And I hope you will give it a try. You can use any other stamp set that has solid stamps. As I said at the beginning, I created this style of stamping with a different stamp set. And here it is. I used a stamp set from Alton New called Curved Rose. And I followed the same steps. First, I stamped it with the black ink and then with the distress inks. And then I sprayed it with water. Then I stamped a big bold sentiment from Clearly Besotted and I also added a little bit of splatter as the left side was a little bit too empty looking. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and hop over to my blog for more inspiration. If you would like to see more cards using this technique, I made two other cards in the past, one for Father's Day and one for Christmas, the videos should be showing on your screen now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.